Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example three here. And uh, this example is another lesson and like math is uh, mostly intimidating looking but actually not hard. Uh, because yeah, uh, the equation we're given here looks very intimidating but proving it is pretty straightforward. So what we have to do is prove that this equation is true. And uh, so we're going to start with this left hand side and prove this very easily. Um, as I said, we start with the left hand side and we see that uh, this here is the same as that there and all you need to know um, to recognize that this is equal to this is dealing with that binomial square right there. In other words, foiling this is all that you need to know how to do. Um, that is, you just need to know how to multiply a sub i plus b sub i by itself. Once you do um, and do it correctly, you should get this. And then now one property of sigma tells us that these three terms here can be given their own individual sigmas. So we apply that property and we get this. And then another property of sigma tells us that this constant inside of the middle sigma can be taken and written um, outside in front of this middle sigma. So as soon as we do that, we're done proving the equation we have to prove. Yeah? All right, cool. Example four is next.